Welcome back to the channel, guys. We've got a big, big Sunday morning flea market mission ahead. We're trying to sell this stuff onto eBay for a profit. I'm excited for what we're going to be able to find out here today. The sun is shining, which is always a good start. Uh, let's get into it and see what we can grab this week. How are you doing? Not too bad. Hey guys. Hey, don't record, please. No, that's fine. Always totally respectful of people that don't want to be filmed, but I was able to buy these off her. These are the Nike Dunk Sky Highs. They're in really good condition, women's size 7, and the comps on eBay, well over $100. And how much are you doing on these? Uh, 50. F 50 bucks? 15. 15? Some car highs as well. Yeah. 15. 15. Oh. What about a deal on those, my man? I think it's 110 all up, you had. Four. 80 bucks? Yeah. Let's do it. So that was a pretty good start, but it actually wasn't all I bought off him. There was a bunch of clothing as well. This FC Barcelona, it's a completely genuine jersey and it's a size 2XL, that pre-match warm-up. Um, this Crusaders Rugby Union jersey will go for about 45 and he even had some Carhartt. These $10 a piece items should sell for about $40 in pre-owned condition, but they are my size, so I may keep them as a personal. Uh, there were also some hats as well. I didn't show these in the video, but I found these hats. Good? Yeah, they are actually. Okay. I've got a North Face one too. See that? True North Face. Um, that one as well. I grabbed that because it was a World Series yeah. 2001 yeah. hat. And then that's for me. Yeah. Bucket hats, that's bro. I just don't know how I feel about them on your head. Really? Nah. Let me know in the comments if I should rock the bucket hat. Tag off. Tags off, but does the hat stay on? Honest opinions, yes or no? Um, I think it's all right. Kind of look like you're at a hotel suite. New docks down there. Have you? Where are they? Just there. How much? Uh, 50. Yeah, I saw these in an op shop the other day for a hundred. Really? In an op shop? In an op shop for a hundred bucks. They oh. were brand new, but thought a hundred was... That's nuts, in an op shop. Was wilding in an op shop, yeah. Um, someone will get them. I always like them when they're just a classic boot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah These are the industrials. They're funky. Are they golf shoes? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Nike React. I haven't seen Nike React golf. Always a buzz when I meet people down here for the very first time. Those guys had not been to the flea market before and they were checking it all out and said they absolutely loved it. So, uh, very, very cool to see. And here's another, here's another regular. Another regular down at the flea. How, what have you done today? It's free to like the video. Do they know that? <laughs> Just like it. it? Boop. This guy gives 100% mint content. He's teaching you how to how to hustle, how to have a side hustle for free. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably the 80th time that he's done that. And I'm actually gonna put that into the video. You're gonna get that one in there. Wow. He always does it, I never include it. But yeah, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> right there. I found Jamie at the flea market. What's in this bag? Oh, Holy. I just stopped at a booth straight up. Yeah. Hey, it's not very nice. The junkyard picker, they call him. Oh, what have you got in there? Some media. Uh, the games, the games. Horses. Horses. Like you play that, don't you? Some of the games. You play some horses. The only good thing he bought. What's that worth? I don't know. Um, I'd say probably 30. Harvest Moon on the Wii. Um, Average case, though. I got the whole bag for 20 bucks. Okay. So it's like Star Wars trilogy DVD sets. Robot um, Chicken's good, just the one? Yeah. See, guys, if you can get Robot Chicken... That, that goes well with like large allocations, like full sets. This uh, Harry Potter house is Polly Pockers. Oh. I saw this was one comp for like 70. Hogwarts. But I don't know if this one's complete or not. I think I have opened it. What date on it? 2001 Harry Potter, man. That would be all right, no? Yeah. 
Hey, this would be good. This would be great. Yeah, DJ. DJ. Yeah. Oh, it's an Osmo. I've had sold one. Osmo Mobile 2. Found these Osmo 3. Do you reckon that's working? It doesn't have a, a tag on it. I think the other one, he had other ones, but they sold before. It's stuffed in here. I like even the little pouch. Yeah, the pouch is sick. Little Power Puff pouch. Jamie, you like the Power Puff girls, don't you? Love them. What is that? It's like a wireless PC controller. Glide zipper. There's only one listed for 50, but it's only one controller. Okay. Sell through rate, man, remember? No, no, no. Yeah, let that one sit. Right, so something I haven't shown you guys yet was a purchase that I made right at the beginning of the day. I saw it, it was from America. I've never seen them over here in Australia and I struck, I purchased it and I can't wait to show you guys at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Trying to find books one to 10, oh there's 11. Books one to 11 of this series here, Underbelly. The only issue I've got is it'll be a little bit to ship off. But two, four, six, eight, ten. What would you do? Uh, I'll take the two on top, it's twelve. Give you ten. Oh, we've got the rain coming, guys. You gotta be quick. You gotta be quick with your deals, boys. It's only been an hour. The tarps, the tarps are going on. You know what? I think this is a perilous journey to try to evade the weather and find the profit. Did you have a big night last night, Jamie? No, I was up watching movies though. A few too many oranges. Orange juices. I actually did have a popper last night. Little like popper. Child, yeah. <laughs> Little popper. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, Little traveller's packet of Cocoa Pops as well for dinner. We don't do free sponsorships around here. <laughs> I, won't say, I won't say the show I was watching. Oh, what? Back, what are you watching on TV at the moment? Tell us. I was watching Reacher on Amazon. Reacher on Amazon? Yeah. What do you give it out of 10? Um, first season was pretty good. I give it about a nine. A nine? Second season, I didn't realise how fast it jumps from like place to place. I've jumped three years in time. Oh. So I feel a bit um, a bit betrayed. He's so left his like... He's throwing you around line, a bit. So. Okay. Oh, well, there, Reacher, approved by Jamie. Seems mad. What do the guys need to know about Friendly? Well, if you want, um, if you want to sell stuff, we're in the Gold Coast at Karara Markets. So we're open seven days a week, um, every single day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, we buy pops, Lego, comic books, jerseys, uh, sports cards, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, anything. Uh, myself or Jai, John Jess, my mum, they'll sort you out. Any help at all. This is the guy though. <laughs> yeah, that's the main guy. That's the main, yeah, the main guy. He's the poncho. <laughs> now that's awesome, man. Cheers. We'll uh, we'll throw some B-roll around this store and get people in. If you're ever at the Cryo Markets, go and say uh, hello to Jai and, and Marshall, two very good boys that work incredibly hard. Um, friendly bricks, a lot of great stuff in there. Um, yeah, go and check them out. Well, guys, we are back in the inventory room, um, aka the office, aka the Flipper Den. I don't actually don't have a name for this place and they were all terrible suggestions. So maybe leave me a, a note in the comments of what I could call this little sanctuary of eBay. Um, 14 items, 14 great items in this haul today. Um, you know, great quality, good sell through rate, all the stuff that we like to try and do, good average sale price, but there is a 15th item. There is a 15th item that I haven't shown you that I am so excited about. It's gonna be the first one that I list up today and I reckon it's gonna be the first to sell out of all of this. Uh, first of all, let's run the footage and then I'll talk about it. Oh, sorry. How much on this one? Uh, I've got um, 80 on that one. 80? And 100 on the other. No worries. I'm free to make an offer. I actually haven't, um, they're my husband's and I haven't actually done a check. Once I get set up, I'm gonna see what I think they're worth. But that's what I'm thinking in my mind. But still free to make an offer. Okay, no worries. What about, what about 60? It's moving halfway, I'll have to do it for 70. 65? I've got 65 cash on me, I have to go to the oh, ATM otherwise. Done. 65? Done. Easy, thank you. So, as you can see, 
I'm pretty happy about this because this isn't something that we come across here in Australia too heavily. And the lady did say that she bought it over in the States as well. So I know that it is a genuine American product. Uh, it is a full sized helmet as well. And there are some comps on eBay for around about $300. So that's what I'm gonna be listing it up for. I'm gonna throw some international postage on it as well and it may go over to the US. So to pay $65 at the start of the day, the rest of it was just gravy. Um, $120 off the other vendor that I purchased the majority of the items off. Uh, and then a huge shout out to Rob as well, who's a fantastic picker here on the Gold Coast. Great ripping fella. Um, bought a bunch of books off him in the end for $15 that I'll list up for 80. But um, yeah, just a fun morning, day and a half's worth of eBay content, uh, eBay listings, I should say. Uh, a video that was made and hopefully enjoyed um, by you guys. And um, we've got a new starting from scratch series happening on this YouTube channel where I'm, I'm, I've opened up a second store and I'm starting with no feedback, no items in store, and I'm trying to grow my first $5,000 worth of revenue in there um, as quickly as I can. It's right here if you missed the first episode. Second episode's coming out later this week. We'll see you soon.